welcome back um, this is just a bit of a short video I'll try and fit it into um, the unboxing video um, there is a piece of software that you get on the um, card reader um, memory stick and that's um, Windows it's the same really as the but you, um, the app but you can use it on uh, your operating on your laptop or your PC at home so at the moment it looks the same identical connect and then if you if you write a bit of text there same turn it move that up okay obviously too big so just drag it down a bit move it to where you want and obviously you to click that up there for connecting but it says connecting but and it's obviously not connected yet um, should have connected by now nope well as you see it's it's connecting but Turn it back in the other port. Yeah, it's connected now. I uh, don't know why it didn't connect, but there you go, and you just crest it to stop and it's all it's doing is framing so you can see that where come back down to the middle quite small is that so I'll just enlarge it a bit now if you watch the machine I'll just click frame again it'll move over Can show the quick stop. Now, when you want to the this is the this here is the um, roller system that you buy for the Jimitsu LC40. It's a slim one, um, and it's connected by a USB lead which goes into the back USB port into the back of the unit now as I say that's just on it's about 2% power yeah. and what you've got to do is if you want to set that up to run the roller the simple case of because once you've put some text in there click on that it'll come up use roller um, weak light uh, I don't think it particularly matters but um, I haven't found out what that settings for yet so it's told it's to use the roller so it jumps into the middle there so all you do to position it again is can you see that okay is press your preview again and now I believe you can do that on the app as well run the roller system but I don't know I haven't tried it on the app and it'll carry on framing until you quest stop 
and it'll go back to the centre. There you go. Um, now I'm, I'm just going to click off this. Yeah. Um, just off this program. Now I'll just turn this unit off. And always when you, you you twitch the machine on it'll do this. There you go. Now I'll switch it off because I'm gonna show you. Right, now you can you can flash this from the floor as I was saying previously um, and the the firmware allows you to flash to GRBL for laser gerbil or um, light rooms light burn sorry light rooms light burn but unfortunate you can't go back to the original firmware um, but you can on the PC however I'll show you what what happens plugged it here you get a USB stick that's all the necessary so I'll plug that and I can get it in that's in right so the first thing you've got to do is go into your settings and get up device manager when it decides to come on there we go right in device manager and where you see ports there I'm just two in there. Coms three is being used. Coms four is being used. Bluetooth link. So what happens now is you press the little repeat or so they say it is on the back a little button. Press it. Hold it for three seconds, and then switch it on. That puts you into the mode that enables you to flash the software or rather not yeah flash the firmware on the um, obviously the motherboard that's in the LC40 so that now tells me that CH340 COM6 USB serial is the machine the machine's working, it's connected, as I've just been using the Windows software. So now, I'll leave that, we can get rid of that. But first, what I would say is, just go into properties for the USB and make sure the port setting is set to 115200, because that's what it needs to be at. So if it is, It'll, it'll be set at default settings which is 9, 800 or 600 I think it is but anyway go on to your look at your chip there it is USB firmware there's the GRBL firmware to flash it there's the original firmware now don't matter which I try on firmware a GRBL LC40 that's your what uploads it to your machine so what you do is you click on that and then all you do is press start upgrade but I get that every time and I get that on all the three PCs in the house it's running Windows 11 two of them the others is running Windows 10 the same comes up ok 
cannot flash that. I can buy the phone, but I can't from the PC. So that is the. Um, I'm going to have to get back onto Sane Smart for that. But uh, I've tried altering settings. Tried didn't make any difference. But I know I can flash the firmware from the phone, but I can't go back. So. That's all Bluetooth. Yeah. So right, um, that's the ending of this short video. I'll try and clip it in somewhere. So um, I hope it find it useful for people. So bye for now.